In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create simple dashboards with Cumulosity IoT, allowing you to visualize live data emanating from your device or devices. The cockpit application in Cumulosity IoT provides you with an unfettered overview and the essential dashboards to monitor your IoT data the way you want. For this tutorial, we will use the smartphone which you've already registered and connected to Cumulosity IoT. The Cumulosity IoT sensor app on your smartphone sends data from your smartphone to Cumulosity IoT, enabling the creation of simple dashboards. Let's now create a brand new dashboard. Before I start creating the dashboard, I'll create a group for my devices so that I can arbitrarily group them according to a specific use case. A device can belong to multiple groups, and groups themselves can have as many subgroups based on your business use case. The phone generation process automatically creates a group called phones and assigns your device to it. We will assign our device to a new group. On the left-hand side, you see a section for groups. This shows all available groups. Let's quickly create a group and name it My Devices. As a next step, we assign our smartphone from the device list to the group. Select your device and hit the button to create the group. Now the device belongs to the group you've just created. On the left-hand side, you'll find your device under the newly created group. Let's select the device. As you may recall, Cumulosity IoT already created a default dashboard. However, we will create a new one. Next to the available dashboards, you'll find the button to create a new dashboard. You can customize the property of each dashboard to use a certain name, theme, and branding. I will set the menu label to IoT Demo. You can apply this dashboard to all devices of the same type. This means that you don't have to replicate this for each device in case you add more devices that need to have the same dashboard showcasing the same view. Let's now save the configuration of our dashboard. You're now ready to add widgets to your blank dashboard. Let's begin adding a new widget. Here, you'll find a collection of default widgets that Cumulosity IoT comes with. Each widget type provides different parameters and different data to be displayed. For this example, I want to create a simple graph, the data points graph. You should give it a meaningful name. You can change the frequency of the data to show real-time measurements in different intervals. I'm going to change it to last minute. Let's scroll down and click the button to add data points. This will take a look at the data points sent from my device. You can make these available in the graph. For instance, I'm going to add the X, Y, and Z data for the accelerometer. Once you have added this, you can see the live preview of your graph. Let's save the widget configuration. Now, you can see the data points graph is added to your dashboard. We can further enhance the dashboard by adding a different type of widget. For example, I'm interested in metadata pertaining to my device, such as serial number, unique ID, device creation data, or something similar. Let's select the Asset Properties widget. Below is a list of standard properties. However, I can further add any additional customer data my device is sending. We use the Add Property button to get the list of all metadata the device is providing. For this example, we'll be selecting Creation Date, ID, and Name. Let's scroll all the way down the properties until we see some data marked with a lightning icon. These represent device properties. Let's go ahead and select Alarm Count. I can filter on the type of alarm I'm interested in. In this simple demo, we'll leave it out. Once you've defined the properties, you can rearrange the list 
and relabel any of the properties. Let's click Save to add the widget to our dashboard. Now you have two widgets added to your dashboard. We will add a few more widgets to get some more insights. The Radial Gauge widget analyzes data and visualizes data in the form of a radio gauge. For this widget, we will use the air pressure measurement. Let's go ahead and add this widget to our dashboard. As always, I will rename the widget to include a meaningful title. Then, using the same process as before, let's go ahead and add the barometer measurement coming from our smartphone. Over here, I'm selecting the barometer measurement. Not only can I use it to display information, I can also use this to set some condition-based monitoring. You can set the minimum and maximum range as shown on the radio gauge. The yellow range defines the range when minor alarms should be raised by a corresponding threshold rule. The red range defines the range when critical alarms should be raised by the threshold rule. This functionality is useful when you want to do basic condition monitoring on your assets and raise alarms when a certain measurement breaches a threshold. You'll be able to find more information on alarms in the Alarms Learning within the Knowledge Hub. Once you are done configuring your widget, let's save the widget. Now, let's add one more widget. The Alarm List widget shows a list of all alarms that your device has generated. You can filter it based on different criteria, like status, whether the alarm is active or cleared, the severity, and other things associated to alarms. We will leave all the settings as default. You can see that there are already some alarms generated for our device. As you may now have noticed, the dashboard is getting a bit cluttered. You can rearrange and resize your widgets in the dashboard. We can drag the right corner of the widget to resize it. You may also drag and drop to move it into a different location. Now that we have resized our widgets and put them into the desired location, our first dashboard journey is complete. You can view a list of all widgets with all their functionality in detail in the Cumulosity IoT Cockpit documentation, accessible from the Knowledge Hub.